Hello friends, welcome to Arisa Talent as we are studying topic improvement of food resources in which we are studying animal husbandry. In the animal husbandry, there are four parts animal husbandry, okay, in which there are four parts cattle farming, poultry farming, fish farming and beekeeping okay we have already studied about cattle farming now we will discuss about poultry farming fish farming and beekeeping so now i'm going to start our topic poultry farming poultry farming what is poultry farming poultry farming means rearing of birds for egg and meat thus we can see rearing of birds for eggs and meat okay it includes cult it includes hatching rearing and prevention from diseases sanitizing uh, and proper management so i can say that it includes it includes hatching of birds it includes the process of hatching in which chicken come out from the egg okay and it includes hatching rearing prevention from diseases from diseases sanitation and proper marketing management okay it includes hatching rearing pre, uh, prevention from diseases sanitation and proper marketing management now on the basis of uh, on the basis of their production uh, generally they are categorized on in three groups okay one is grower layer and broilers what are growers if we talk about the growers then this is the first stage okay this is the first stage in which they grow till the sexual maturity okay this is the first stage of life of poultry till the maturity till the sexual maturity okay sexual maturity next if you talk about the layers then what happens in layers second stage is layers in layers generally it is the stage of chickens from the sexual maturity till the egg laying period it is from sexual maturity till the end of till the end of egg laying period okay birds in this stage are known as layers and 
बॉल्स इन दिस स्टेज आर नोन एज क्रोवर्स नेक्स्ट इज ब्रॉयलर्स द थर्ड स्टेज दैट इज ब्रॉयलर वॉट आर ब्रॉयलर्स जनरली दे आर प्रोड्यूस्ड और दे आर रेयर फॉर द मीट दे और वी कैन सी वी कैन ऑप्टेन मीट फ्रॉम दैम so they are reared to obtain meat okay and they are given food rich of protein and vitamin a and k they are given food rich in protein and vitamin A and K and they are fast growers. They can grow very fast. They can grow, or we say they grow very fast. Okay, as we know, we eat the meat for the proteins. They are rich in proteins and they are given. So boilers are given rich diet of proteins and vitamin A and K. Now we will discuss about their breeding. If we talk about breeding, so in breeding, cross breeding between Indian uh, Indian breed and exotic breed is done to get better breed. It is done between we can say cross breeding is done is done between. Indian breed with exotic breed okay so that we can get better production and we can get better breed okay if we talk about the indian breed what are the famous indian breed it is asil it is asil and basra these are the famous indian poultry breed and if we talk about exotic breed then it is white lagoon okay and rode island red so these are famous exotic breed when the cross breeding is done between the indian breed and exotic breed then the new cross breed is developed and generally famous cross breeds are famous cross breeds are H H two sixty I A I eighty. Okay, so these are the famous cross breeds, and we do the cross breeding between Indian breed and exotic breed to get the better breed for the better production of the eggs and meat. Okay, now we will discuss about the diseases which are caused in the poultry birds. diseases in poultry birds number 1 is dermatitis symptom of dermatitis is uh, discharge from eyes and nose sorry uh, disease for uh, sorry symptoms for dermatitis are irritation
and uh, blisters on skin. Okay, another disease is foul pox and symptom of foul pox are discharge from from eyes and nose. Another famous disease in the poultry birds are foul cholera and symptoms of foul cholera is loose motion and dehydration. Okay, so what is poultry farming? Well, the rearing of birds is done for the eggs and meat that is known as poultry farming. It is generally there are three stages of the birds, growers, layers and boilers. Growers are, this is the first stage of life of poultry and it goes till the sexual maturity. Okay, and the birds in this stage are known as growers. If we talk about the layers, means uh, this is goes from the sexual maturity till the end of egg laying period and this period is generally known as laying period and the birds in this stage are known as layers. Third one is broiler. Broiler is generally uh, for the, it is reared for the meat obtaining. If we talk about the diseases, then the famous diseases which are caused in the birds, dermitis, foul pox and foul cholera. Symptoms of dermitis is irritation and blisters on skin. Foul pox, symptoms are discharged from eyes and nose of the bird and then foul cholera, the symptoms are loose motion and dehydration. Now next we will discuss about fish farming. Next topic is fish farming. It's also known as pisciculture, also known as pisciculture. Okay, generally fishes are reared in this process, rearing and cultivation of fishes is known as fish farming okay now generally this is done by two methods the process of obtaining fish from the water is known as fishing what is fishing process is to obtain fish from Sources, what is the source? Sources, water. It can be marine water, it can be fresh water, is known as fishing. Okay, generally, fishing is done by two methods one is capture fishing. And another is culture fishing. Capture fishing. If we talk about the capture fishing, then when the fishes are obtained from the natural resources by modern techniques, that is known as capture fishing. Capture fishing. When the fish are obtained from natural resources, what are the natural resources like river, lakes, seas, etc.? River, 
lac, sea, ocean, etc. Okay, when the fish are obtained from natural resources by modern techniques, by using modern technique, it is known as capture fishing. Okay, this process is known as capture fishing okay now next we talk about the culture fishing in the culture fishing culture and harvesting of done of, of fishes is done okay thus we can say this is the method of cultivation this is the method of cultivation and uh, rearing of fish okay again culture fishing is done by is categorized into two method uh, two categories or two groups that is mariculture and aquaculture culture fishing We talk about culture fishing, then culture fishing is again categorized into two groups, mariculture and aquaculture. Okay, when the fishes are obtained or marine fishes are obtained, when the marine fishes are obtained from the sea water or from the coastal water, when marine fishes are obtained from coastal water ok that is known as mariculture and aquaculture in it fishes are obtained from the fresh water resources from from fresh water resources okay so that is known as aquaculture so what is fish farming what is pisciculture pisciculture means rearing the process to obtain fish from the sources that is known as fishing and fish farming means rearing and cultivation or of fishes so this is known as fish farming okay and fishing is done by two methods capture fishing and culture fishing in the capture fishing generally fishes are obtained from the natural resources like river lake and sea by using modern techniques okay this is capture fishing and another is culture fishing in which this is the method of cultivation and rearing of fishes okay again culture fishing is divided or categorized into two group that is mariculture and aquaculture mariculture means when the fishes marine fishes are obtained from the coastal water that process is known as mariculture and when the fishes are obtained from fresh water what is fresh water the sources of fresh water are ponds rivers okay then this is known as aquaculture now next topic of discussion is beekeeping beekeeping is also known as apiculture So our next topic in animal husbandry is beekeeping. Beekeeping is also known as apiculture. Also known as apiculture. Okay. So what is beekeeping? Rearing, care and management of bee. To, product, to produce honey and wax that is known as beekeeping. Thus we can see rearing, 
केयर एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ बीज टू ऑप्टेन हनी एंड वैक्स ओके जनरली फार्मर्स लाइक टू डू इट बिकॉज दे डू नॉट हैव टू इन्वेस्ट मच इन दैट इन दिस प्रोसेस एंड इट इज लेस प्रॉब्लमेटिक एंड इट गिवस दैम हाई प्रॉफिट दैट्स माई फार्मर्स लाइक टू डू द बी कीपिंग ओके नाउ वॉट आर द मेन प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ बी कीपिंग हनी एंड वैक्स एंड वॉट आर द यूजेस ऑफ दैम एज वी नो हनी इफ यू टॉक अबाउट हनी दैन हनी इज रिच सोर्स ऑफ शुगर water mineral and vitamin amino acid and enzymes okay so as it is a rich source of uh, sugar water mineral vitamin and amino acid and enzymes then it is used in various purposes it is used for various purposes what are they we can eat it directly because it is edible fruit so thus we can see we can eat it directly why do we eat it because it give us energy okay eat directly to get energy okay it is also used in the medicinal purposes like uh, in the vomiting in the uh, problems related to the stomach and liver also used in medical in medicinal purposes like in the condition of vomiting problems related to stomach and liver okay as i told you it contains sugar so it is also used in pastries and cakes contain sugar so used in pastries and cakes etc okay if we talk about the wax another is another product is wax generally it is secreted by the workers worker is the cast of b so we can see it is secreted by workers workers are bees okay and these are used to make hive used to make bee hive okay so uh, the product from the bee keeping we get honey and wax from the bees okay now we will discuss about the varieties of bees before it we will talk about the different types of bees means caste of bees on the basis of labor as the bees do most most of the labor is done by the bees so they are categorized into different caste on the basis of labor on the basis of labor bees are of three types number 1 is queen queen is female bee okay queen is female bee it lay eggs and it lay both kind of eggs they are fertilized eggs and unfertilized eggs and it can produce 15000 eggs per day and if we talk about the life span then life span of queen is generally of 3 years so queen is female bee it produces 15000 eggs 
ಮಾರ್ನೆ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜನರಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನ್ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ as it is laying 15000 eggs per day so they both they both uh, they all are not fertilized some are unfertilized too so it lays both fertilized and unfertilized eggs and if we talk about the life span then life span of queen is 3 years okay now another cast of bee is drawn drone is male bee this male bee okay the main role of drone is to mate with queen main role of drone is to mate with queen okay and if we talk about the life span of drone then life span of drone is generally of 57 days they live for very short time period generally 57 days now third one is worker if we talk about worker then they are sterile female they are sterile female and the life span of them is generally 3 to 12 month 3 to 12 months and they are the smallest of all they are smallest of all thus we can easily identify the types of bees okay on the basis of their labor one is queen another is drone and worker queen queen are the female bee they produces 15000 eggs per day and they uh, those eggs can be fertilized or unfertilized and their life span is of 3 years and another uh, caste is drone which is the male bee and the main role of drone is to mate with queen okay and the life span of drone is 57 days only third one is worker which is the sterile female and life span of it is generally 3 to 12 months and this is the smallest of all the bees okay now variety of bee if we talk about the variety of bee then there are indian variety and exotic variety now next we will talk about variety of bees if we talk about variety of bees then indian variety indian variety is apis indica okay then apis dorsata these are the most famous indian variety and if we talk about exotic variety if we talk about exotic variety of v then it is apis mellifera sorry Apis mellifera is the most common domesticated bee because it give the high production of honey so thus we can see this is apis mellifera is most common 
domesticated b because it gives high production of b as uh, high production of honey as it gives large scale it gives the high production of honey okay now we will talk about the what are the factors what are the factors which now what are the factors which influence on uh, what are the factors on which the selection of b is done so two important factors two important factors are factors for production of good quality and good quantity of honey are one is pasteurization of or we can say one is pasteurize okay pasteurize means availability of flowers to bees for nectar and uh, pollen grains we can say Availability, availability of flowers to be for for nectar and pollen. Okay, and another is selection of bee. Another important part is selection of. variety of b now selection of variety of b is done again on the two bases one it should give high production of b and another is it should fight from the enemies means it should protect itself from the enemies thus we can see selection of variety of b is done on the two bases one it should give high amount of honey okay and it should protect itself from enemies okay so here the animal husbandry gets completed Thank you.